Hello everybody and welcome back to Purple Plays The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Okay, so this part's going to be a little different. Um, normally I give a recap of what happened in the last part, yada yada and all that. Um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, we finished all 120 shrines, but um, and we got the Tunic of the Wild. But this is going to be a little different. In fact, this might be my shortest part ever. <clears throat> okay, so... I just went to where the Trial of the Sword is, and that's in the Korok Forest right by the pedestal where the Master Sword is. There's a cutscene that plays out, although it's not voice, it's just text box, and little Kor Koroks are like kind of just doing their little thing. Um, due to technical difficulties when originally recording this, I could not bring that cutscene up anymore. And what happened was is that I initially started recording this after running a couple of errands. And um, when playing it back, the video somehow got scrambled. Like, it was jittery, pixels were like everywhere. Um, my voice was like kind of cracking in and out of everything. Uh, it was just a complete mess. It was just a total wash of a part and I had to scrap the entire thing And so what happened was is that I had to start from where I was and what happened is is that I left off on the last um, Floor of the beginners trial Which is a battle against a Hinox now um Ah, there we go. Now, um, initially I wasn't going to show the beginner's trial because it was already tough enough just passing it on its own. I find this to be the toughest one of the three for specific reasons, which I'll get into as I progress along. But I figured I should show it and not skip out on it because it would just feel odd not to show all of the beginner's trial and just only have the middle and the final trial. So here I'm only going to be doing from the beginning of the beginner's trial all the way up until the Hinox fight. After that, that's when the part will conclude and then the next part will take place after and it'll go just as much in depth of what I'm talking about in terms of the technical difficulties. I don't think it's much detail, but a decent amount, I guess. So, um, like I said, this will be short and, <clears throat> and yeah. So, what? So yeah, just enjoy this. Um, come on, there we go. Okay, just gonna leave that there. take you and I'm going to use you. You cannot aim. Damn, that's a big shockwave for a tree branch. And I guess I could have done a sneak strike. Okay, so in the Trial of the Sword, you do not come with any of the items that you had initially. Did I automatically equip that? That'd be cool if I did. I did! Awesome! So if it lands on my shield, I'll basically just take it. I need to stop doing that. Um, so yeah, you come in with absolutely nothing. Except for hearts and stamina. <laughs> like, you know. You can use your runes. And uh, it's best to use them. 
especially your bombs in the beginning trial because the red bacoblins go down in one shot with your bombs. So that'll save you some weapon durability. Ah, some nice coke. I believe there are 12 floors on the underground, oh, underground floor, on the um, beginner's trial. Usually housing at least two boss enemies. You already know the ending of this it will be a Hinox. Okay. What you would probably want to do here is light one of your arrows on fire so you can burn these platforms. There's two of them all across from each other. Um, if you feel that you're going to kill them before you'll be able to use their fire, then burn that other one down for- oh jeez. Then burn the other one down because, uh, that one has fire arrows. On. Other. Where is it? Okay, just be careful because it will go out. Ah, just barely. Oh. Oh, okay. I still got it. <laughs> I didn't even know those were made of wood. I thought it was like some sort of odd stone. Okay, so you can burn the chest open. If it wasn't obvious enough, after you defeat all the enemies, there'll be that little talisman in the floor, or wherever it's at, that will take you to the next floor. <clears throat> It'll be a random gauntlet of enemies, and different obstacles like uh, little tree huts, or, um, or maybe some certain rock formation. It, it always varies. Uh, one thing I also recommend is that if you're going up s some stairs or a hill, use your uh, block bombs. Yep. Oh crap! That way you. Uh, that way, if you have to just drop it. Nope, that's mine now. Alright, I'll take care of you. And they're always housed different enemies. Well, not always different, but I mean like, you know. Oops, take that. You dick. Um, another thing to note is always use, like, your woodcutter's axe to break these. Don't use bombs, otherwise the material will disappear. I need to stop doing that. Why can't I stop doing that? Drop it. Drop it. And remember, because you have no armor, you have no defense, you don't even bring your food in. So... Be aware of that. So, it's highly recommended you have as much health as possible when doing this. Because otherwise, this can get really, uh... Really tough. Those fire arrows are going to come in handy because of what's next. You also want to be aware of <clears throat> fruit that you may find because that will definitely help you out. 
Oh, screw it. I don't need this. Just going to light this. And boom. Lovely. The reason I considered this the hardest is because you don't really get any armor to boost your defenses. I mean, the beginning is hard enough as it is, like the beginning of the game. bombs to kill a moblin. A regular one anyways. here. Ah! Asshole. Okay, so then we're gonna throw this over here. She can destroy trees. So that's something. <clears throat> okay. Got some food in here. And roasted mighty bananas. I'm just going to go ahead and snack on those because I believe the next part is a boss fight. Nothing like Thunder Blight Ganon or anything absurd like that. Nope, just a stone talus. Stalus. Ah, we're at the halfway point. Okay, so before you fight this big oaf, first, I'm gonna equip the uh, club, and second, we have these explosive. Um, Barrels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to approach. Ah, really? Oh, okay. Yeah, so uh, you can also use the explosive. Um... Hold on a second. Huh. I felt like a little tremor. I don't think there was any. But, uh, yeah, you can use the explosive barrel to break one of his arms and stun him almost instantly. Or you can actually use your own bombs. But, um, if you manage to get the explosion on the ore, you can, like, take away half of his health. And I'm not talking about that quarter that I took off just by nudging it on him. I mean, literally half. The only issue is that you won't be able to do it with the second one because he'll, um, because his ore won't be low enough for you to get it. All right, so this is the rest area. This is, this does count as a floor, but this is your rest area. Now what you want to do first and foremost is get the fairy. You want to sneak up on it because it can run away. And you'll be out a free, uh, well, life, so to speak. Then after that, go ahead and get everything else. You'll get a shield. 
I believe a new weapon. Two new weapons, actually. Because that's going to be a sword, and this will be the Serpentine Spear. I remember it because it helps me well. But I have quite a few uh, weapons, so that's nice. In later um, trials, you'll actually uh, get armor. I shouldn't really be spoiling that. All I should say is that as the trials get harder, you do get better things. Um, food is debatable. And you really want to be smart with how you cook these. You don't want to just blend everything together. You want to make the most of what you can. You'll also be able to get three fish. And this part is three armored carps. There's always apples on this tree. There'll always be two different types of mushrooms. Um, there'll always be a fairy, three chests, and a couple of crates behind them. There's no fish on this other side, though. And then once when you do that, go ahead and start cooking. But again, be smart on how you cook. Now, I don't know how well fairies would do in terms of uh, cooking, so I just leave them be. But uh, don't just, like, pile everything together. Just, like, get a whole bunch of different meals. Like, for instance... I'm going to take two of these iron shrooms and two of these armored carbs. I'm not making a good example here, but you'll see in a sec. See, this gives me triple defense boost, plenty of health, and a decent timer on that. That's going to come in handy. This gives me heart recovery. And I'm going to add that. A mushroom and two apples because I want as much heart recovery as possible I don't think I'm gonna get much but it's something these meals you okay that's all right these meals you're gonna want to just like use before using ones with buffs and debuffs okay so now we have mighty banana and a razor shroom and then let's add some sweetness to it and maybe an apple, since I have so many. <clears throat> and then we have something with some attack up. And we'll cook this fleeting lotus. This is a throwaway, in my opinion. Because I find them to be less worthwhile than uh, just a regular um, heart recovery food. So I don't really buy... I consume them first. Because it does help in the long run. Alright, and then we're going to add that. Another defense boost. Yeah, I know they don't increase too much, but they're better than half a heart, half a heart, and then a whole heart. And remember, don't use your fairy. And if you have anything left over and you can't really mix it into anything with a buff, just go ahead and mix whatever. That'll come apparent later on in Trials. Like, the last one. I had so much stuff, it just, uh... It just amounted to piling up what was left. <sighs> but that's why you also want to break crates with your wood axe or uh, any other type of club because if you use a bomb the materials will destroy them will be destroyed and uh, sometimes they can have fruit like I believe I've shown already so uh, <clears throat> you'll have more cooking utensils if uh, you play your cards right but this is where the difficulty starts getting really high Okay, so I need to switch items. First off, you have blue Lizalfos right here. The green ones are in this area. Oh, I caught them on fire. Never had that before. You can take their food, uh... Which is funny.
Ha! Ah. I wish I could lock onto the other one, but no, I have to lock onto this one. This is where the difficulty comes in, though, because they like to stay in the water sometimes if you knock them in there. Oh, snap. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and take this, and I'm going to take this. And then we have these guys, and also keep in mind of your other, uh, of your other abilities, because there's things like that chest in under the water. You can use that as a weapon, or you can use it to get a weapon. If I wasn't dumb, I could just grab it and open it. Also, I missed a crate. And, ow. Oh. Ten arrows. Neat. See, so you get apples and arrows. I mean, not only can you use Cryonis as a platform over all this water, but you can also just use it as a shield for assholes like this guy. Because he has a bow and arrow. Despite that, he's just going to stay in the water. As you can see. But they're not as terrible because these are the green ones, which I think are the only green ones in this trial. Which kind of makes sense. But see, what makes this hard is that there's so much water and you have to wait for them. And you can be, I mean, if you're anything like me, you'd probably be an impatient person. You just want to get this over with. And then you're waiting on them, and then there's just the multitasking of trying to fight other people that are getting in your way. It's just something you have to plan out really well, and something that I don't have much patience for. You'll see as we keep going, because they just like to stay in the water all the damn time. Okay, so we have Octorox, which is honestly a little rare in the trial. Damn it. Okay, he didn't see me. Alright, so first things first, we're going to want to grab this chest. Another bundle of arrows, that's always nice. Okay, and then before we take on the whiz robe, go ahead and kill the Octorok. Apparently I can't aim. Oh, I landed. All right, my Boko Bow is badly damaged. Keep getting headshots with these guys. They'll never recover, for the most part, anyways. Oh, no. You do not want him to do that. Yeah. Just throw a weapon at him or get another headshot. Um, it's funny, because in later uh, trials... Um, these guys will be floating over bombless pits, and you can just um, knock them down and they'll never recover because they'll fall into the pit. Uh, I'm gonna go with this. Surprisingly, although I, I shit on the electric weapons, especially for these guys, um, 
this will actually be quite useful because not only can it stun enemies, it'll help uh, disarm enemies with certain weapons, which will give you a chance to not only up your arsenal, but also downgrade their threat level. This area is one of the biggest examples of what I was talking about in the last one. So, first thing I'm going to need to do is equip that. Okay, as you can see, he's disarmed and I took what I could. You don't have to bash him with it like I'm doing. I'm just trying to shoot the thing at him. Ooh, that was close. know what happened to that probably fell in the water don't care uh, if you want to look for it you can always use uh, your magnesis to see if you can see it someone could have taken it too I don't know I don't really care I just want to disarm them <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that didn't make him flinch at all. Oh, there goes my boomerang. Not much of a loss. Ooh, a rush room. Okay, that takes care of that. Alright. More arrows. Oh, I already got it. Huh. Okay. fudge off but that's still not the hardest part about uh, this trial I think it's coming up right here yep this I consider probably one of the hardest of the trials and it's the last one that I need to do okay so first off We have to get on this. And all the while, these assholes are going to be trying to shoot at us with fire arrows. Can't really stay in one place because, well, they're shooting at you, obviously. As you can see. Oh, I killed him. Okay. really want to aim for the snout shot. I'd say headshot, but if you hit them in the snout, which is their which is what's considered the headshot, uh they'll go down. Like that. The only reason why the blue ones go down just like the red ones is because I'm using a stronger bow. I, I didn't even think about shooting them from there. So now I'm going to equip my bombs. And this is where the hard part comes in because the Bacoblins aren't too tough. It's the black one and the black Moblin you have to deal with. As you can see, you really want to knock that guy into the water because otherwise... Oh, I should have telegraphed that because otherwise you're going to have one hell of a bad time. Okay, 
So I'm gonna go ahead and eat all this. And hell, I'm gonna eat this too. I'm eating it because one after this, I'm going to be done. So it won't matter. And two, because I don't want to die and restart. I just want to finish this area. I don't want it to seem like, oh, there he is. Okay, so that's why I said use the block and it's not gonna knock him off. Okay, just gotta take his stuff. Um, if you have trouble taking his stuff, just use this. Steal it. Oh, the lightning rod's badly damaged. And boom. That went a lot smoother than it should have because I wasn't stunning him with that stupid club. It was only until the last hit where he dropped everything. But I recommend, if possible, just knock him off um, with something. I think you can throw stuff at him and he'll be knocked off, or you can, uh, what you call it, um... Or yeah, use the stun rod. Stun rod first. That way you can disarm him. That way if he hits you, there's a high probability you won't die in one shot. Because with a dragon bone club like that with no armor, you're definitely going to be taking a lot of hits. And this is the last floor with the Hinox. But you will not be seeing me fight him in this part. You'll be seeing me fighting him in the next part. And obviously I'll have different stats. <clears throat> So I just wanted to show off the beginner's trial here. That way I don't have to regret it later down the road. So <clears throat> um, if my recording, if my upload schedule is consistent with, I think, two videos and this um, comes in, then I'm probably going to add the next part in as a bonus. So... Next time on Purple Plays The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, we're going to be continuing where I originally last left off, or originally started, um, here. It's complicated, but if you followed it from the beginning, you know what I'm talking about. So I'll see you guys next time.